Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna test the Voltrox 75mm on four different Fujifilm cameras and you can see the label here, I will just put the label here and the, from the left is the XH2, XS10 and then XT4 and then XT2 so they have three different generation of sensors uh, you know the XS10 and the XT4 and the XT3 they have the same sensor so I just wondering like what are the performance on these different cameras so let's zoom in a little bit uh, from uh, the Kelvin the white balance I set them the same and then all the ISO and then the shutter speed uh, aperture uh, three uh, the triangle I set it the same for the aperture values so let's zoom in a little bit more so I zoom, I focus on the lens on this X100F uh, sorry X100T and then uh, let's let's zoom in a little bit more so you can see the sharpness on the on the ladder because uh, I zoom in I, I focus on the lens area so that the the letter is sharpness and then you can see the bokeh slightly different in terms of the sensor how it rendered the uh, color also so let's zoom in a little bit okay so so far so good uh, for the sharpness of the road trucks and then later on I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more just to get to the uh, area of the focus area of the, um, the the fonts so and then let's zoom in here so let me know below what do you see you can put it in the 4k video uh, display you can see the differences between the 40 megapixel right here already between the xs10 and then the xx2 so it performs much better on there uh, the X-T4 is performing pretty well so you can see the differences of the X-T4 using the Voltrox 75 is better than the um, the X-S10 on the 75mm so I can see the differences between here and also for the X-T2 because it's the oldest sensor is not as sharp so let me zoom in even more around this Fujinon uh, leather so you can see the differences see the X-T4 and the X-T2 differences and then X-S10 differences and then the, this one the highest megapixel difference 40 megapixel difference so you can see that it is uh, the sharp sharpest uh, uh, in the XH2 because of the 40 megapixel uh, difference but the XT4 is performing pretty well so XT4 using the Voltrox 75 can produce very sharp image uh, from this test like it's comparable to the to the 40 megapixel of the XH2 so let's uh, I focus on the same distance the same distance focus on a different area on the camera so let's zoom in a little bit and you can see the bokeh differences also uh, so you can see I focus on this area right here so let's zoom in a little bit more yep see the, all the details texture on the camera on this area just uh, keep an eye on this one XT4 is still performing very well nice detail in the texture for the XT4 right here. So XT2 is the oldest sensor. Uh, it's not getting the sharpest image out of these four. So what I'm saying uh, from these two quick test results is that the bokeh are the same. The bokeh you can get all the same smooth bokeh. Um, but the sharpness, uh, in terms of sharpness, the XH2 um, is the sharpest and it has more detail in the texture but the X-T4 uh, can produce very sharp image as well so even though it's the same sensor as the SS10 from the X-T4 but the X-T4 maybe has a different uh, algorithm or something 
I'm not sure what's inside differences. Uh, uh, they might have a same pr processor, but uh, the differences between XT4 and SS10, you can see the texture difference. But XT4 can catch up pretty close to the X H2. Um, so in terms of uh, if you want, uh, if you have a good deal on the XT4, you can still using the XT4 using the Voltrox and produce nice image also. So I will do a couple more tests uh, later, but these are the quick uh, two tests on different area of the lens. So thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.